Hello, hello. Today I want to talk about the Q-Link. I think it is um, an important thing on the NPC because you can control anything on your NPC just by playing with fork nodes. I think it is important to get used to, uh, to them because the more you use them, the more um, the more you focus on your ears, the, mo the less you look into your screen. So the more you you switch to menu, you used to play with it. You know, you just focus on this to select from parted screen scene, project program, and so on. So, for example, so when you're on QLink, you can choose between project. So you will master your effect in project, your, you can master your, your pen, your volume and so on based on your project. The same on the program. That's the two first I find them interesting when I do live because I can look at uh, all the pro uh, add a low pass filter on um, on all project and so on, something like that. Or on the program, you know, keep my drum. Or strange, um, I can also pitch down the program and keep the other one at the same pitch. That's playing on effect, you know. Or I can I uh, play on the X Y effect on one program and so on. Patin is one of my favorite because on this one you can control anything and you will start mixing. You can start pitching. You can do anything when you're beat making. You know, for example, when I first page I will control the volume you see you can control the pen I personally add um, an eye pass filter because I'm I don't it, it's not usable on the, on the kick I also add a um, low foot pitch because I, uh, I mostly add LFO to my uh, loop. On the second page, you got the you got the sand effect. My first sand effect is always a p uh, it's always a, a reverb. My second one is uh, always a delay. My third one is the sand freeze, most of the time, an SP effect to get the graininess. And the last one is, um, is a, a guitar effect, a doubler. You can use Okay. I switch I switch down the volume on this one I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and the last one uh, the third one is about cutoff. Filter cutoff, filter resonance, filter death and also tuning. The last one is about ADSR, you know, so I can change my attack, change my decay. Okay, that's really interesting when you work on sample, when you want to lower kick at first or drum at first and get sweet transition between your sample. Uh, for, for example, here I got um, I got bass, you know. So I want it louder. I want to tune it, so I will go on. I 
gonna switch all effects down, you know. Okay, no sand effect. No filter turned off, okay. I will trim it. Perfect. I'm gonna check it with it. diving in the menu without getting their program and all and so on you know for example i can play on my drum effects i can do a lot of things without taking care of the screen just being here and going on my snare is too high too high too 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 low So, for anyone who uses the MPC Live X01, don't miss the Q-Link. <laughs> 